Вообще что? Ник, ник. Hi guys and welcome to Nikok's channel. It is officially one week before Halloween. So for this video, we are going to show you 11 Halloween costume ideas for you and your dog that you could totally do yourself last minute using materials that you could find from your home. So let's start with our first costume. Okay, so I guess you could guess who we are. We are Han Solo and Chewbacca. I've never seen Star Wars. You've no, never I seen have... Star Wars? Well, but a lot of people have told me that Nick Nock looks like Chewbacca, especially when he was so fluffy. He just had a grooming, so you might not see it now. But I'm going to show a photo here of him being fluffy. So when someone told me that, I immediately thought, well, okay, that would be a good Halloween costume idea. And again, since I have never seen Star Wars... You've no, never I seen have... Star Wars? Well, I initially thought of Princess Leia as a partner. So I thought that it would be kind of tough because it, Princess Leia wore a long white gown, right? <laughs> With her hair and donut pigtails. I don't know. And then I googled it. Oops. And then I googled it and found out that Han Solo is actually the best friend of Chewbacca. So it would make more sense for me to dress up as Han Solo. Which is such a great coincidence because I also look like Harrison Ford. For this costume, all you need is a white long sleeve. <laughs> Nick, look at the camera! Look at the camera, boy! They can't see your costume! Turn. Okay, there you go. Okay, so for Han Solo's costume, all you need is a white long sleeve, a back vest. And this one I made with the wrapper of chips. And then for the belt, I just used colored paper. I'm supposed to have a gun, but I don't have a toy gun. And for the jeans, you just need jeans that you wear. <laughs> and some red ribbons that you could glue on the side. Since I still wear these jeans, I only use double-sided tape for the ribbons so that I could remove them after. And just need your boots. For the dog's costume, all you need is the Chewbacca belt. The Chewbacca belt is actually brown or tan or leather, brown leather, but we don't have that. So <laughs> I used old black socks and I taped the same chips wrapper that I used for this one. Ta-da! There, it's his costume. <laughs> so it's kind of loose. <laughs> Kind of loose. <laughs> it's super loose because I didn't measure him because I think I know best, but I don't clearly. So just a tip, if you're gonna do a costume for your dog, you need to measure them. <laughs> Are you having fun, little boy? Are you having fun? Okay, you're not. <laughs> Let's move on to our next costume. For next costume, we are a flower and a bee. Nick, look at the bee. Bee. Nick, look at the bee. For the dog's costume, this is actually a bee costume that we bought years ago when he was still tiny. <laughs> and now it can no longer fit. We can no longer close it. So since it's small for him already, I just turned it into a vest. Let me have a vest. It's your booty. Booty vest. You also do a complete DIY version. Just, <laughs> just make a small headband and the bee antenna. Ta -da. And just make him wear a yellow shirt. Yellow and black shirt. And you have a bee. For the human costume, a flower. All you'll need is a brown dress that would act as a stem of the flower and headband. We just attach a bunch of colored papers. I attach the cereal box first to the headband so that it would be easier to attach the petals. I'm supposed to look like a sunflower, but instead I look like a torch, a burning torch. So I had to add some leaves. Ta-da! Chorus, for your version, you could strategize where to put the leaves because I didn't. I just put them anywhere. And I only had one piece of green colored paper left. These are all the leaves that I could do. 
So this costume is perfect if you already have a bee costume for your dog. Because it's actually why I thought of this. I sorted through all of Nick Knox's costumes from the past, even those that can't fit him anymore. And that's when I decided which costumes I would wear. I adjusted my costumes based on his costumes. Yay! Peekaboo! Now let's move on to the next costume. Of course, this wouldn't be a complete list without Dorothy and the Cowardly Lion. Okay, so for the dog's costume, <laughs> and I'm sorry, but this isn't DIY. I ordered this online. The first lion costume they bought was just a headdress, but it was too big for me. No. I think it covered his whole body. There are actually two versions of this. Your dog could either be the Cowardly Lion or Toto. Just no costume at all. Just a dog. That's his costume himself. Okay, now for Dorothy, I can no longer fit the frame because I'm wearing super high hoops. For Dorothy, all you need is a white dress or a white top that you would use as your inner shirt. I'm wearing a dress that I wore backwards so that the round neck is in front. And for the dress, just use any blue dress that you have. This dress I actually made from an oversized button down. Yay. And just wear some high white socks for stockings. And of course, Dorothy's red shoes. And just tie your hair like this to little pigtails and just tie them with ribbons. I'm using recycled ribbons. These are actually from cake packaging. <laughs> this still has the logo of the big shop on it. And of course, Dorothy's basket. They kind of look like this character from The Orphan. Let's move on to the next costume! Ta-da! Minions! Nick Bear Minions! That's all the minions on my nose. Okay, so for the dog's costume, I'm sorry, but I don't have a DIY for this. <laughs> this is bought online, but this is popular, right? I've seen a lot of dogs wear this, and it's so funny when they walk. Okay, so if you already have this costume for your dog, all you need is to prepare one for yourself as well. So you're both minions, yay! Okay, so for the human minion, Human minion. All you'll need are yellow long sleeves, a denim overall. You could use denim rompers, denim jumpers. For my case, I use a denim dress. This is actually a full length dress, but I just folded it to make it shorter. And then I just added the minion logo using double sided tape. And I'm wearing yellow socks because it's cute. Okay, and then I just added. <laughs> this is also a DIY headband because I don't have a yellow headband. All I have is white, so I just glued on to colored paper. But again, you could remove easily after using. And <laughs> this is my favorite. Minion goggles! These are bedazzled goggles because they're shiny! These are actually eyeglasses. And I just put the bottom of paper cups in front of it and covered it with a silver glittery washi tape. Are some caps one one for you guys. Yay. But you know what? It would be better if you would use black elastic because that's really what minions wear. Like this. But I don't have black elastic and this is easier, so yay. Banana na 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 Okay, now let's move on to our next costume. Hot dog vendor and hot dog! Nick, you're a hot dog. You're also a hot space dog. You're a hot dog. You're a hot little dog. Okay, so this is very common. I mean, you may have already seen this, especially if you're looking for ideas on Pinterest. And also because this hot dog costume is also quite common for dogs. So. I'm sorry, it's also not the DIY. <laughs> but the box is DIY. <laughs> this is actually a storage box. And I just put on some white and red paper. And I wrote hot dogs on it also. This one. I also glued on some black ribbon to act as the strap of the box. This is how hot dog vendors carry the hot dogs, right? Yeah. 
So then you do dog's costume. Now for the vendor costume. It's so easy. Pretty sure you have all of these at home. All you need are a button down, white long sleeves, and a red apron. I actually just made this using some cloth that I just found. And black pants. And just make a hat. This hat is made from scratch paper. I just drew a red line here. And this bow tie is actually Minox bow tie. I borrowed it. <laughs> Yay. Okay, that's it. Hot dog and hot dog vendor. Now let's move on to our next costume before Nina falls completely asleep. Ringmaster and Lion. So if you have a lion costume for your dog, this could be another option. Aside from the Dorothy and Cowardly Lion, you could also be Ringmaster and Lion. Okay, so we are only dressed like it, but we totally do not support any activities that involve hurting animals for the entertainment of humans. So it's just for costumes. Behave for the ringmaster costume, this wasn't a DIY because I already have this from when I was in college. This is what I wore to university every day. No, this this was my favorite shot from my graduation photo, and they kept it all these years. And luckily, it still fits. So, ta-da! But this is also easy to DIY. You could just have a red blazer and a fluffy skirt, add a fedora, and just make a little whip. This is made out of chopsticks. I glued together two chopsticks and I glued a black ribbonette. And there you go. And whip. Let's move on to our next costume. Ash Ketchum and Pikachu! Yeah! You're Pikachu! You're Pikachu unique. So for Pikachu's costume, all you need is a yellow shirt. This is actually a Pikachu shirt, but you can see it, so I decided to add little Pikachu ears. These are DIY. These are just made from foam papers, and this is actually a scotch paper. It fits perfectly on his head, so it's meant to be. And for Ash Ketchum's costume, all you'll need is a red cap and just add in some white paper or cloth and just add this logo here. And then for his vest, this is an old blue t-shirt and they cut up the sleeves. Then they glued in the detail, like the yellow pockets here, these are totally pretty. And then the yellow buttons, and the black lining, but it would look like the vest, and the yellow lining at the bottom. And I'm just wearing a regular white polo shirt inside. And then just add in some jeans, and then some white kicks, and green gloves. These are actually the sleeves of a green top, and I just turned it into love. Ta-da! Okay, so that's it for this costume. Let's move on to the next one. Red Riding Hood and Grandma! Grandma Werewolf. So let's start to be your dog's costume. This is actually a human nightgown. <laughs> and I transformed it into a doggy nightgown with a matching hoodie. Ta and this one is a beach cover up. I just used it as like a scarf for Grandma's use. So if you want to try this and you don't want to ruin your nightie, you could also use a shower cap and just wrap your dog with a blanket the way grandmas wrap themselves. That's it. But if you also have some spare nightgowns that you're willing to <laughs> that you're willing to transform, then you can do the same thing that I did. Okay, good night, grandma. Okay, so Nikla is being in character, being a sleepy grandma. So we're just gonna let him while I discuss the DIY red riding hood costume. Okay, so first of course is the hood or cloak. Or whatever I call this. I know that it's a different color from the dress, but since it's DIY and I'm just grabbing things from the house, it really doesn't matter. So this is from some cloth that I found. And again, I used ribbons from cake packaging. And then I put in a white dress to act as a top. And this here is actually a dress that I borrowed from a friend of mine 10 years ago. Hi, Jessa. This is your dress. <laughs> this is a strapless dress. And I just folded it to turn it into a skirt. Okay, so please don't judge me for not returning a dress from 10 years ago. We've always talked about me bringing it to her or her getting it from me, but it just never happened. And instead, I just stored it. And look! It served a purpose. Amazing. You could also add a basket. Red Riding Hood and Sleepy Grandma. On to the next costume. 
Okay, so for this costume, we are Princess Jasmine and Raja. Raja, Princess Jasmine Siger. Okay, so for the dog's costume, all you'll need is a tiger hoodie. Right now he's sleeping and I'm just gonna let him sleep because he's tired. Okay, so this isn't a DIY. Again, I bought this like, tiger hoodie. But if you wanna do a DIY, you can just grab any clothing of yours with a tiger print or any cloth really with tiger print and turn it into a shirt. I could also use a brown shirt with paint tiger stripes on it. Okay, now for Princess Jasmine's costume, I combined two different tops to create this top. <laughs> one is a simple long sleeve and another one is a tank top. So I use the tank top for the off-shoulder sleeve and I use the long sleeves for the tube top. And some part of it I used is a belt for the pants. These are also an old pair of pants and I just attached these tool to make it look like it's flowy. And I added these gold washi tapes. <laughs> They're just washi tapes for the gold lining and Princess Jasmine's clothes. And for the headband, I just used the strap from the tank top and I added the gold <laughs> washi tape and this little crystal here. Then I wore some gold jewelry to finish the look. This is actually a gift from a friend from India. And it's such a coincidence that the color matches. This is Jasmine's costume. It's perfect. Okay, so that's it for Princess Jasmine's costume. Now let's move on to the next one. James Bond and his famous martini. So let's begin with the dog costume, the martini. So if you have this color, this is usually so if you have this color automatic, you have a glass. And if you don't, you can just use a clear folder and make a color out of it. And for his olives, I used Christmas balls. So these are bedazzled olives. And I just hot glued them together so that I could easily remove them after. And I used chopsticks, one at each end for the stick. Okay, so now let's move on to James Bond's costume. Super easy, you just need a suit and a vest and a white bottom down and some slacks, shoes, of course the bow tie. It's a doggy bow tie. And that's it. You have your James Bond and your martini costume. This is the perfect last minute costume. Super easy James Bond costume. Now let's move on <laughs> to our next costume. Now for our last costume, this is my favorite. This actually might be the only reason why I wanted to do this video. <laughs> because I wanted to dress up as Elwood and dress Nick Nook up as Bruiser Woods. Nick, you're Bruiser. Hi, Bruiser. Okay, so obviously I'm not blonde. Although I did try to look for a blonde wig. I went to one store. <laughs> but all they had was the Harley Quinn style blonde wig. Okay, so now let's talk about it. Bruiser's costume. I bought a pink hoodie for Nick Nook and then I just did an H cut out from some colored paper and I just taped it. It's very easy and I just added this pink little leash. So if you're going to do Bruiser Woods, you could just pick out any pink doggy t shirt and just do the same thing. Cut out a letter H and put it there. Yay! Now for Elwood's costume, you just throw in any pink outfit. This is just a pink blazer that I already have, and just a pink top, and some pink shoes, and these sunglasses are actually back. And then I painted them years ago with red because I used them for something, and now they're pink. I used the nail polish to paint on them. When I was trying on this outfit, I was thinking, there's something missing. It still wasn't Elwood's enough, even if it was all pink. Then I added the sunglasses. Bam! Elwood's, just like that. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Okay, so that is it for our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. It may not seem like it, but Nick not really enjoyed it. <laughs> every time the cameras are off, he gets a lot of treats. And he runs around, and every time I take off the costume, he would play with it. It's just, it's just a model. It's just sitting still. 
for you guys so you can see his costume. Okay? If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to Nick Knock the Dog. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye.